Have you ever had a conversation with Siri? Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hi Bixby. Okay Google. Alexa, play my favorite song. Yeah, every time I have a conversation with AI technology like Siri, something <laughs> always goes wrong. It makes me wonder if we will ever get to that stage where we can have a proper, real, natural conversation with the machine. Let me introduce you to Google's new project, Mina. Hi, I'm Chris, a software developer at AI Network. Google has released a neural network powered chatbot called Mina that they claim is better than any other chatbot out there. The secret behind Mina's conversational skills is the crazy amount of data it was trained on, about 341 gigabytes of text, or to put that in more understandable terms, 40 billion words, including millions of social media conversations. What separates Mina from other chatbots is its ability to give specific context-dependent answers. For example, if you say, I like football, and a chatbot replies, that's nice, the response makes sense, but is not specific. So let's try chatting with Mina. As you can see from the chat logs, Mina not only answers questions sensibly and coherently, but is even capable of cracking a joke. Next, you see a selection of topics where the user talks with Mina about movies, and the bot even expresses the desire to see these movies too. This is very human-like. Mina even tried to come up with a proper definition of philosophy. These scholarly-like attempts to answer such deep questions is much more advanced than previous state-of-the-art chatbots. In order to understand how Mina works, you need to read Google AI's recent paper towards a human-like open domain chatbot. Mina's main architecture is a sequence-to-sequence -sequence model with an evolved transformer. Mina was trained on 40 billion words mined and filtered from public domain social media conversations. Compared with OpenAI's self-learning language model, GPT-2, which is a neural network variant with 1.5 billion parameters, Mina is 1.7 times bigger in model capacity and was trained on 8 times more data. That means Mina's new transformer architecture developed through an evolutionary neural architecture searches to improve perplexity. To evaluate Mina's performance, researchers proposed a simple human evaluation metric called SSA, which stands for Sensibleness and Specificity Average. SSA considers two fundamental aspects of human-like conversation, which is a full 23% higher in absolute SSA than existing state-of-the-art chatbots such as Mitsuku, Cleverbot, and Diolo GPT which means that it is easy to mistake Mina for a real human. Today we learned about Google's Mina. This already sounds like science fiction, and it will be difficult to reach the seamless interaction between humans and AI we all dream of someday. However, with the best AI teams continuing their amazing work on great projects like Mina, I believe these kinds of services will one day be amazing. I hope many developers will be inspired by projects like Mina to make more incredible, fun AI projects. So that's it for this week's video. Thank you for tuning in and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Talk to you next week for next week's weekly ionize video.